Hey guys and welcome back to another gold making video. In this one I'm going to be showing you a new skinning farm that you get a whole heap of um, leathers and a whole heap of really good skinning materials from. Basically you're killing these otters that are around here. So they're called wild water timber tooth and it's here in Azor span. So all up and down this river is basically where these guys will spawn. And so we've set up markers here to know where we want to um, to do each pull at and basically we just go up and down the river killing these guys and skinning absolutely everything up you're going to need skinning for this farm and I nearly died just there it's very very close <laughs> however it's a very good farm and you can get some decent amount of leathers here and um, hides here too per hour you're also going to get your um, fur also. So like I said, we're just killing all the lotters, otters and then skinning them up all up along this river. And there's also these porcupine things that you also want to be pulling that are nearby. So my job in the group right now is basically pulling the mobs for everyone to kill and I'm uh, moving on to the next one so they, they know where to go. But basically, it's a, it's a new farm, and it's a pretty good farm for skinning. And as you can see, we've got markers set up at all the main spots. You can't hyper spawn this, but you can like keep it moving, and you'll make a whole heap of gold doing so. So as you can see, we've already got three of them furs, which is very, very good. So you want to have your skinning obviously maxed out. And once you've done this part here, you can go over to this little pond. There's some spawns over here. As you can see there's some up there and they're all just around the water's edge so you just pull these guys now if you had a monk he could um move around to each spot and then throw down a statue that would probably bring them all in a tidy group making them a bit easier to skin and um loot and whatnot but this this farm has been very fun something new one of these guys actually from my community um said to come check this out and give it a go so that's what we're doing right now. And it seems pretty good. So I'll just show you once we we clear this, where to go next. But the main things that you want to be focusing on are these otters and then the porcupine looking things because they're the ones, the porcupines drop the this fur, the crystal lies spine spur, fur. You basically just skin them up and then keep on moving onto the next marker. Now it's something different to do, you won't get bored of this because it's brand new, it's not like the same old skinning farms that everyone's been doing. As you can see there, we just got a, how do you say that, a dense hide. Now you can do this one spot here if you really wanted, there's some porcupines all up in these hills which are worth pulling. As you can see, Make sure we pull all these in a big group so everyone here can kill them. Now, this is a new farm, like I mentioned, so if you want to come give it a go and try it out, highly recommend it. It's really good, and it's great, great fun. And the um, the dense leathers, oh, the dense hides do add up super, super quick. Now, you want to make sure that you've got your skinning maxed out. Um, with all the the talents, use all your knowledges, your knowledge points on your skinning, and you can um you can make a lot more gold here. And also, if you have skinning maxed out, you can turn your five stars into three stars, making them even worth more gold when you sell them. But basically, the main farm is sticking along this river. You can start up the very top here and work your way down. So as you can see, there's just orders absolutely everywhere here and you also want to get these porcupines and basically just run up and down here with your group they all want to follow along and um, this is how you do this farm so I'll just keep doing it and I'll show you a bit more of it but it is a very very simple farm to do Now you want to move down to the next part here and all down along this river and you can find a whole heap of these um, otters 
or spread out along the riverbank. As you can see right here, it's just a whole heap of them. Now by the time you get back around to the start of this farm, they will have definitely respawned and then you can just rinse and repeat, go around in a circle up and down this river with your group as you're skinning and looting them all. And as you can see, the leathers really start to add up. And also you're going to get skill points too for your, for your leather working to get even more knowledges. As you can see, we've already got four. We've been here for like five or ten minutes. We already had four knowledge points, which is absolutely insane. So you want to make sure you skin absolutely everything here. And then keep on going. Oop, blind aside. Now a few handy things to have is the Dark Moon Fire Water. This will increase your skinning speed. And then also the fried bone fish so every time you kill something this will increase your movement speed just to make things a bit quicker and you can also have some speed some speed increasing gear for the dragonflight gear and have um there's a few enchants that give you a lot of speed too like on your boots you can get like 200 speed on your cloak too i believe you can get um a speed boost but the main thing that you're going to be making the gold from is the dense height and then the crystallized spine, fur, and then obviously your resistant lever. They're the three things that you're going to be getting from this farm. Alright, moving down to the next spot. This is like the main beaver dam right here. Just want to make sure that you're pulling absolutely all of them from up here. Just like this. And then pull them into the edge of the water right here and then kill them off. Then once you've done this spot, you just go over the wall right here. You pull all of these guys right here. And then basically you just do a circle of what we've just done all throughout the video. And that is how this farm actually works. Very, very simple once you get it figured out. Um, it makes it a lot easier for the group if you put markers out so they know exactly where we're going to be going next and what, like where to go and what to kill basically. But after you're done here, you go down, get the ones at the bottom, and then you just simply do a loop around here. And basically that is it for this short video. Quick shout out to Ben Voker, Vokard for getting me to come have a look at this farm. He said he had a new farm that he could need guarantee I haven't seen, and I haven't seen it. It seems pretty good, so I thought I might make a video about it, and um, share the spot with everyone. Hit that thumbs up button and subscribe because there's going to be a lot more, and also my gold making guide full of the best spots to farm and the best tips and tricks about making gold and dragonflight will be in my guide which is the first link down below.